Hey guys, this is Das. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I am super excited as usual to have you watch this video. In this video, I want to show you real quick how you can copy any website source code out there that will give you that website live for offline viewing. And I'll also show you before I end this tutorial how you can upload that same file to a live server and have that same website live on your domain in your hosting account. If that's exactly what you're looking for, without further ado, let's go straight into these tutorials ASAP. Just before we jump straight into this tutorial, if you're new here, I'm super excited to have you here. You're welcome to this YouTube channel. I am Dabs. I upload videos every now and then. I run website tutorials. I help people look like a pro, even if they're a non techie. I show the things that work, the things that do not work. I make you look like a pro, even if you are a non tech. Ensure that you like this video, you smash that subscribe button to join the families, and you hit the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any videos from me. So let's go straight into this tutorial. So for the purpose of this example, we will try to copy the source code of this website here that I own, my cbmastery.com. And that's me telling you that uh, I do not endorse people copying people's intellectual property online just because you can. So I'm only showing you this video for educational purposes alone. That's it. So now that this is established, let's get started immediately. So right now I have this website here and uh, I would use this website. It's my website so I can afford to do whatever I want to do with it. Okay, so now let's try to copy the source code of this website. So how do we do that? We will need the help of a Chrome extension to do that. So for you to uh, get that, you need to come to chrome.google.com slash web store. If you have a Google account, you should definitely have access to this. I'll also leave a link in the description for you to get here. We'll be needing the help of an extension called Save All Resources. So let's search that. We have this extension here. So uh, let's try to install this. So now let's try to add this to Chrome. Yeah. So we hit yes, add extension. And you can see there's a download right now, and this should be added to a Chrome extension. All right, fantastic. So we already have this added to Chrome and we close this. That's literally everything we need to do. So right now we can come back to the website we want to clone and then we can refresh this. The next thing for us to do after we have done a refresh is for us to right click on the website and then we can inspect this website. And then uh, we'll have this pop up here and that's good enough. We can just come right up here and uh, click this arrow here for you to see other options, uh, which is resources server. So once we click this, uh, we'll have uh, options here. And what we want to do here is for us to uh, tick everything possible here, include all assets, uh, which is what we want. Then we can just hit save all resources button and you can see there's a downloading going on there and that's literally everything you need to do for you to copy the source code of any website online and this is done already so what i have to do right now is for me to open this up and then we have a zip folder here uh, with the website mycbmastery.com so i would just want to extract this so i will extract files and then yes i have this open up and then I have this folder now. So once I open this, I have other folders here and you can still see my cbmastery.com. This is where the website files are. So we can open this up and then you can see I have index and I have WP include and then WP content. So if I open my WP content, I'll be able to have access to plugin themes, uploads. And if I open this up, I'll be able to see the plugins installed, which is Elementor, WP Formlight, uh, which is fantastic. So I can come back as well to WP include and all this other stuff here. So, but if I open this up right now, right now you can see that I have this website now for offline viewing. You can see the URL. This is in my local machine. Okay. So now that we have our website, uh, now that we have this website now for offline viewing, let's see if we can upload this to a live server. So to do that, I will be using Ostinga, which is uh, my best budget hosting. So in case you are looking to buy an hosting, you can check the video description. 
so i can come to my hosting plan here so this is my cbmastery.com that i have i can switch this to Jabsbrook, uh the a new domain name that i own i can just come to my files and come to file manager but if you're using another c panel just search for file manager and then go to your public underscore html which is where i'm going right now uh, so this is it we need to open this up so i have a backup uh zip file here so that's it uh, so let's see if we can bring in the files that we downloaded here. Once I'm in my files, I can just come to my cbmastery.com. I can zip this, send this to compress zip folder. Uh, so that's it. I have this zipped. And then I can just drag this into my file manager. So you can see that our files are uploading. We can see that here. So you see uh, this will be done in some few more seconds. So we have to give this some time. Oh, fantastic. We now have our uh, files here. So I can click this and then I can right click and then I can extract this file. I can just say DAPS. I have my extract here. I can open this up. So these are my files. I can just highlight all of them by doing Ctrl A and then we want to move. I can right click this and then we can move these files back to our public underscore html because we want this website live so i can go back all right so you now you can see that i have these three i have this folder and this file now in the public underscore html so i can delete this tabs folder is not necessary anymore i can also delete my cbmastery.zip is not necessary anymore as well but you can keep it as a backup if you want that's literally up to you so i now have these files here so now let me go to this domain name called dabsbrook so you can see dabsbrook is already loading the same website so that's it uh, that's exactly how you can copy any website source code out there and you can upload it to a live server uh, if this video has been useful, give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. I will look out for them to give you answers as much as I have. And that's my time for this video. Thanks for watching. I will see you in another video. And until then, make sure you stay safe. Bye for now.